Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English along with Raisa Pascal. There is something about the holidays that just brings people together while it, other people kind of, well, they just tear others apart. The do's and don't when it comes to relationships during this season are like getting into a car with Stevie Wonder. You never know where you're going to go and you never know if you're going to make it back. That's the question. Helping us to ensure that we make these holidays very happy is relationship trauma expert, Dr. Janie Lacey. Thank you so much for joining us, Janie. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Okay. No, the holidays is all about love and joy and happiness. Why is relationships uh, really kind of put to the test this time of year? Well, there's usually two reasons. Okay. There's new relationships and then there's the old relationships that have unresolved issues. Okay. And they'll roll those things right into, okay, whose house are we going to go to? Why are we going to go see your mom? Right. All the issues start coming up. Then you also have the new couples, right? Because after all, it is cuffing season yeah, yeah. and you have, okay, what do we do now? Are we going somewhere? So we have a lot of things that come up, whether you've been married a long time or unless you're newly newly dating. The holidays can be very tricky. Yeah, the uh, the fact that there's more events going on, I think is what you're saying here. I want to start off with the, with the new relationship couples. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say um, I meet this wonderful woman. She's great. It's like say maybe first of November. Thanksgiving comes, she wants me to go to Thanksgiving dinner with her and meet her entire family, but I don't want to go. What am I supposed to do about that? Is she going to kind of get the wrong signs or what? <laughs> well, there's a couple things. The first thing is I would tell that person is the reason why they don't want to go, right? There can be some assumptions that we can make. If it's a new relationship, most people don't necessarily know if they're going to be for the long term because we also know in February is breakup season, right? So if they don't know if they're going to make it through <laughs> the holiday. February 16th <laughs> or 15th, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So if you're not sure where this is going and you just want to enjoy the ride right now, then you may not necessarily want to throw yourself into meeting their family and friends if you're unsure. Or the other part, you know, you can go, you can have a plan, right? So we're sure. looking at it in three buckets. You can have that conversation, the most important thing, that there's upfront, transparent, mature conversations that I enjoy my time with you, I'm really liking getting to know you, but I just want to focus on us right now before we start meeting each other's family and friends, right? It's an honest conversation or don't make it a big deal. If you really don't want to go, you have your own plans. You can maybe stop by, have a time limit, so this way you are appeasing okay, yeah, to her. Yeah. But then you can also go to the other place. Or the third option is you can have your own plans. Is okay. how about, you know, as we're getting to know each other, how about let's do something special for, for us? But well, you have like to be that. a little careful with that, too, because that can uh, potentially send someone the, the message that you're going to be around for the long term. That's, that <laughs> is true. I can, understand, I can see something like that. Why don't we, like, uh, you go meet with your family. I made family. We have some dessert maybe later on in the evening. Maybe you can do exactly. that. Exactly. Compromise. I would want to go to Thanksgiving dinner uh, as a dad and as a boyfriend. I'm going to tell you what, boyfriend, first off, I'm going to see how she acts. All right. But as a dad, I'm going to be like, she's going to be on her best behavior because she's with her man and she's going to be looking, you know, you know, doing right, the right thing. Right. So you probably you, how long into a relationship until you really see the person you, you that uh, who they really are? How long does that normally mm -hmm. take? For a new relationship, on average, it's four to six months okay. because someone can put their best foot forward for those couple of months. But then you're going to start getting into the more time you spend with each other. You're going to have conflicts. You're going to yeah. have disagreements. So the real personality we can see normally is around four to six months, which is also why people either make it past the four to six month period or they don't early in dating. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a family uh, gathering. Um, how do you deal with just like, man, I hate Uncle Tim. Your Uncle Tim, he's just obnoxious. I don't want to be around the guy. How do I deal with that when there's a family member that you know you're going to see that you're going to have to spend an extended amount of time with? Now, usually what I would say is it depends on the family member and the relationship with them. So I've worked with lots of people where there's been childhood abuses and these types of things, sure, and then they're yeah, expected yeah, to yeah. pass the peas, right? So in those cases, I would say you have to do what's best for your mental health. And sometimes telling people, no, that I'm not coming to Thanksgiving this year, I have other plans, is going to be protecting of your mental health. But if it's just he's irritating, he's, he's <laughs> dr he drinks a little bit too much, right? And when you go, have a plan. Have a plan to attach yourself or speak more to the family members that you're comfortable with, because after all, it's usually once a year. It's a uh -huh. short period of time, um, and if that's the and if that's the only reason, you can go with the plan, and you can still go and enjoy your family and all just right. kind of put them in the corner. I would love to talk to you more because I'm. I, I, what if you're the person they don't like? <laughs> that could be the oh, case. Okay. It's great <laughs> advice. I love it. Love it when you come on and show. And of course, uh, if you want some more advice navigating through the holidays with family or with that someone special, we'll have this interview, of course, and a whole lot of other information on our website, Daily Flash Show. Thank you, doctor.